I would like to preface with a couple of things first before getting started with this video, and that is that the reason why I am demonstrating on Ubuntu is because everybody knows what Ubuntu looks like. Number two, the reason why my fans are running so hot is because we're using Ubuntu. It's not a very lightweight distribution, and the device that I'm demonstrating on is a ramlet of a Surface Laptop 3 with only 4 gigabytes of memory. So, with that being said, uh, I want to uh, give a brief description of what this script does before I show you how it works. So, a couple of the people that have helped me, I want to uh, give a shout out to, is uh, Credo and Dank Googly. They've been, uh, specifically, Credo has been a massive amount of help in uh, optimizing and refining certain parts of the script so that everything works properly. Um, so, thanks, thank you to them. Um, so, what does this script exactly do? Basically, uh, so, post uh, installation of a Linux distribution for your Surface device, uh, a couple of things don't work, which is usually the cameras, the the the, um, the keyboard, the touchpad, basically everything. Basically everything. Nothing nothing works. So um, you can go here to the Linux Surface GitHub and do this yourself uh, verbatim. Um, this script basically automates what you're supposed to be doing uh, to get the Linux Surface modules working into a nice convenient all-in-one script so that you don't have to really do it yourself. Um, this is meant for Debian-based distros which use systemd. Uh, I will probably make one for Arch and Fedora in the future. Uh, but with that being said, uh, let us commence forth. So. A couple of requirements are necessary. You're going to need uh, dialog, bash, and curl. So make sure you have all of those installed. The next thing you're going to want to do, uh, sudo is not used in this script. Uh, rather, su c is. So what you're going to want to do is sudo password and then root. And then you're going to want to type in a root password for root. Now I've already I've already done that, so we don't need to do that. Um, but now all we have to do is copy this string of text right here and we already have the wizard running. So we have a nice little prompt there and we have six options. So the first thing you're gonna want to do before touching any of these is importing the keys and adding the repo. So let's type in our password. It's going to import the keys and add the Linux Surface repo. And we're just going to let it do its thing. It's probably going to take a minute, so I might fast forward a little bit. OK, so now that it's finished that, we're going to actually install the kernel modules. So we're going to put in our password once again. It's going to install the heaters in the image. All right, and it just finished installing the kernel module. So now, optionally, the reason this is optional is because some uh, AMD surfaces don't support the touch screen, um, but uh, Intel ones seem to do perfectly fine. So, I'm just going to install touch screen support and just install it. This will also create a, uh, a link with systemctnl to enable uh, IPTSD. And then we can enable secure boot, just in case you don't want 
secure boot to be disabled. This merely just installs the Linux Surface Secure Boot Mock. And yeah. And then the last thing, this is a uh, very important. This is very important. So some Ubuntu distributions like to hide the grub menu and we need to show the grub menu so that we can actually specify that we want to use the Surface Linux kernel modules. So make sure that you press this. It'll actually tell you that this is going to remove uh, a specific part from your grub file. If you want to re-enable it, you can do so manually. And once that is all finished, we should be perfectly fine. So we're going to press update grub and finish. And then we have officially finished. You see, it's, it found the Surface Linux uh, images. And we should be done. So all we have to do now is reboot. And I will see you guys on the other side. Okay, so if we have done everything correctly, what we are going to want to do is go to Advanced Options for Distribution and select the, gosh, I hate, yeah, select the first option. And when we do that, I'm actually going to log out. Don't mind my flags in the background. I'm going to log out or log in and I'll meet you on the other side. All right, and now with everything done and said, we're going to open a terminal, look at our Neo fetch, and we will see that we have the Linux kernel with Surface. So that means we have everything working. Everything's working now. So, yeah. I hope that this was of use to you in the description. I'll leave a link to the GitHub page as well as the uh, Linux Surface GitHub itself. Um, and I will probably have a Reddit thread for this too. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Hope I was of use to you and have a wonderful day.